Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a makeup tutorial for glasses. I've filmed one of these on my channel before and I remember it was a simple everyday look, but today I wanted to do a smoky liner look because I feel heavy eye makeup goes really well with glasses because it draws attention more so to your eyes instead of the frames because sometimes I feel glasses can distract people from looking at your eyes and seeing your face. And this video is in collaboration with TIJN Eyewear. They so kindly sent me these pair of glasses. This is the packaging that it came in, very simple and minimalist. And I love the glasses case. I like the magnetic close. And I prefer this as opposed to the standard hard cases that just shut very loudly. And it has their motto, life is art print it on the glasses cloth. I could never have too many of these. And uh, the pair I chose are the Jorim, J-O-R-I-M tortoise glasses. And I did get these in my prescription since I wear glasses. And I always wanted tortoise shell glasses and I'm really, really happy with this shape. I like a medium to large size frame for my face. I don't think small frames look nice on me and I prefer this type of shape, a more rounded shape. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with them. I think it came in like two to three weeks. The shipping is a little long. I live in Canada. I do wear my glasses every single day because I have not gone out to get contacts. And when I was wearing contacts, I would wear those every single time I wore makeup. If I wasn't, I'd wear my glasses because as you all know, if you wear glasses, makeup will transfer onto your glasses. And after like a while, like years of wearing glasses, my glasses would get stains from makeup. Um, but now I've made the diligent effort to wipe my glasses very thoroughly because I do not want my glasses to stain this time since I will probably have these for a really long time because glasses are expensive. I really want to stick with these glasses but I did get new glasses because my prescription had gotten worse and I needed some new lenses so I just got new frames as well and now I have two pairs of glasses I have the ones that I've worn in my videos before these are just brown and they're larger than these ones but it's nice to have options I've never had more than one pair of glasses at a time. Anyways, let's get started with the makeup. I'm just gonna take my glasses off. So honestly, no matter what I do, makeup will always transfer onto my glasses. So there's no point in like baking around the sides of your nose because trust me, nothing will <laughs> prevent it. So I just do like my makeup normally, but I do like to do heavier eye makeup well, I wear my glasses every single day, but I have recently also been into heavier eye makeup, but, oh, I should have my favorite part anyways, but I definitely think heavy eye makeup goes very nicely with glasses and pairs very nicely. For primer, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Do Primer. I'm just going to take one pump and apply this all over my face. I believe I'm in my second or third week of my project pan. I'm not sure because I'm doing a foundation. So I haven't posted any updated pictures on my Instagram because you can't see through the bottle. It's a Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. But I really think I'm going to be finishing this one up soon because I've used this so much. Now I need a mirror. Just like to spread this all across my face. Some days I'll apply more, some days I'll apply less. It just depends on how I'm feeling, the look I want to go for. Today, I want to do full coverage. I'm just going to apply it all over my face. I'm just going to buff this in. For concealer, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. Oh, the foundation, by the way, is the shade F8. The inner part of my under eye. Then above my cheekbone to lift the face. Down the sides of my nose to reverse contour. Highlight my nose. 
forehead, chin to conceal and highlight, and then just beneath my cheekbones, or anywhere else where I feel I need some more coverage. I like to apply the conceal onto my eyes as a primer. Now I'm just gonna set it with the Cody Airspun. This is nearly finished. And then I have my Physician's Formula, the Triple Powder. Some days I bake, but today I won't. For the eyes, I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona Biba Palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Freckle, which is this light brown. I need to clean the mirror of this because it's so dirty. And I'm just gonna apply this above my crease. Brush is so dirty. And just buff this out. I take the Essence Eye Pencil Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Black Love. These are my favorite eye pencils. They're just so smooth, creamy, and highly pigmented. I'm just gonna run this across my upper lash line to create a wing, which we will smoke out. I'm gonna take the shade Seed, this dark brown, and then I'm just gonna smudge this and smoke this out. To create a gradient. Let's talk about shows I've been watching. I have been watching more of Apple TV because I only have watched two shows on Apple TV. Not that there's much to watch, but I have a one year free subscription with my phone plan and I believe it's ending in the fall time. So I just wanna watch as many shows as I can because I'm not gonna get a paid subscription because I find it it's gonna be too expensive with other subscriptions I have because there's not too much to watch on Apple TV. So I don't think it's worth paying for even though the shows are, are really good that I have been watching, but I already have a bunch of other subscriptions. So it's not something I need to add to my monthly fees. <laughs> I'm watching Lisey's Story with Julianne Moore. It's based on a Stephen King book and the reviews are like meh. And I do agree with most of the reviews. Like the episodes are way too long and it's just a lot of panned out scenes of just like people's faces i don't know why so many shows do that they're just like it just focuses on their face for like a minute and i'm like what are we doing like let's move on like the episodes de definitely could have been shorter and it is creepy it just gives me like the heebie jeebies but i do think it's a good show but not my favorite i just watched the first episode of home after dark and i love that one i think that is a really good show it's so interesting and you don't see too much stuff from the perspective of a child so i think it's very interesting and jim sturgis is in it and i love him he is so cute um if you saw him in upside down or one day i was i was like oh my gosh and he looks exactly the same like he is aging so beautifully like it's crazy but he looks so good. I really like um, his look in the show. Um, last one I are rewatching. Well, I'm rewatching, and it's his first time watching Teen Wolf because it's one of my favorite shows. And we're at season three, my favorite season, and uh, it just brings back all the feels and and makes me think of like all of high school when I was watching it and how that was literally like I watched. I used to binge watch so many TV shows in high school. It's like some of the best times was just when I would watch TV and binge TV shows because I didn't go out much and it was just, it was really nice. It was fun. <laughs> Massimo and I, uh, we just started the Harley Quinn cartoon TV show. And that's also really good. It's very um, funny and the dialogue is really great. Some of the best shows out there are cartoons. And they're just so good. Some of them are just really amazing. I'm gonna take the shade shine this nice 
bronzy champagne shade just with my finger and apply this onto my lid. Go over the liner, make sure everything's nice and blended. Yeah, I really like how that looks. I'm just gonna blend out the shadow outwards a bit more. So now I'm gonna take the dark brown seed and I'm just gonna run this across my lower lash line. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in How Many Carrots. It's a silver glittery highlight and I just want to apply this over top of the shadow to make it more sparkly. I love these. Um, she came out with a pink one. Not too recently, it's been in my loves for months on so far, but I really wanna get it because I love the Diamond Balm highlighters. Her inner corner and brow bone highlight. I'm gonna take the Lovecraft Beauty highlighter. It's in this golden champagne shade above the extended liner and bring this into the rest of the eyeshadow and then I like to apply it beneath it and drag it across the lower lash line. <laughs> I've seen other people do it on Instagram and TikTok and I find it really just enlarges the eyes. Just keeping all of the drama on the lid. So for the most part, lashes are a big no-no when it comes to glasses, but I actually do wear lashes sometimes because I'm a falsies kind of girl. I cannot not wear lashes just because I have to wear my glasses all the time. So I highly recommend the Demi Wispies from Ardell or from Kiss Lashes because those don't bat on my glasses. Recently, I have been loving these lashes that I got from Chinatown. They're from the brand Dai Fei Yan because you worth <laughs> and they're really short and I thought they would be perfect for my glasses because of that and I was right so I'm really happy they look like this I've just applied some mascara on my lower lashes but I am obsessed with these lashes they are one of my favorite lashes I've ever tried and I love how voluminous they are and I love the length it's perfect for my eyes because I don't have huge eyelids so when i used to wear crazy big lashes they'd be covering my lids and touching my eyebrows and it just did not look flattering but these are great everyday lashes for me and i love them the essence same eyeliner but in the shade silky nude and i'm going to run this on my waterline really loving my eye makeup today Especially now I've been wearing eyeliner every single day and I just love eyeliner. I think eyeliner goes so well with glasses. So now on to the Fies. To contour my face, I'm going to take my NYX contouring palette. I've been loving this lately and I'm going to take these two shades. Contour my face. Oh my gosh. I don't like to tie on my bangs because when I do it always dents them. Now for blush, first I'm going to take the shade Prim from Tarte. This is Amazonian 12 hour blush. I'm going to apply this at the back of my cheeks. Yeah, I've been wanting to like try Tarte makeup again because when I first started wearing makeup, Tarte was my like my favorite brand. I always bought a lot of Tarte. I always just like to apply it at the tip. I've tried applying it on the bridge like other people do, but I just don't really like the way that looks on me. And for the apples, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Peachy Primer Infused Blush. So cute, I freaking love this. I just posted about this on my second Instagram account. Um, if you'd like to follow that, I just post about my favorite makeup products and what I'm currently loving and it's just really fun that will be down below if you like to follow it 
And now I'm going to take my Pacifica Bronze, Bronze, Bronzed Rose Duo and I'm going to take the shimmery blush to use as a blush topper. Just apply this onto my cheekbones, to my nose. I'm going to brighten up my under eyes with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I will definitely repurchase this when I finish it because brightening powders are essential. Once I started using them, I have to use them every time I do my makeup and I find it makes such a big difference. And if I forget to use it, I will notice. <laughs> but it's become such an essential part of my routine because I'll look at my under eyes and I'll just feel they're not as bright. For highlight, we're gonna use the same Lovecraft Beauty highlight so everything is cohesive. I was feeling really tired today. Yesterday I took a three and a half hour nap, which is the same because I hate taking naps. I never take naps, but I was just so exhausted. And today um, I have like a lot of pain in my lower back. <sighs> Onto lips, I'm gonna take the Morphe lip liner in the shade Honeymoon. I haven't really tried high-end lip liners because I find they're way too expensive. I'm going to take Lolita from Kat Von D. Oh my gosh, I saw on TikTok from Michaela the swatches of the new Kat Von D Dazzle Sticks and they are insane. They're like these glitter sticks and I need one ASAP. <laughs> So I'm just gonna apply this, the perimeters on my lips. And for the center, I'm gonna take this Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Yes Honey. Someone actually commented on one of my videos asking me what shade this was because it wasn't always on. So I went to go look it up and I looked at the lipstick. I'm like, oh, it's the name of the range of liquid lipsticks, Always On, but the shade is Yes Honey. But in person, it's like a light pinky beige, but online, it looks so dark. I was like, oh my gosh, it looks completely different. So weird. I'm gonna apply this in the center. Just Morphe lip liner in the shade Petal to just realign my lips. Let's apply a little bit of gloss. I'm gonna take this Essence Plumping Nudes Lip Gloss in the shade XXL Charm. And I really like a shimmery lip gloss but what i like to do is just apply it in the center just like that lastly i'm just gonna spray my face with the milani make it last setting spray I'm just gonna apply a bit of this since i'm not going anywhere when i go out i apply a ton of setting spray because my head, I feel it makes a bigger difference. <laughs> now the final step is for me to see once again and put on my glasses. Yeah, I just love this. I think a classic glam pairs so nicely with glasses and the lash and the liner with the shimmery lid just draws more attention back to my eyes instead of being distracted by just my frames and still I feel really seeing my overall face. Thank you to TIJ and Eyewear for collaborating with me and sending me these glasses. I absolutely love them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. My social media links are always down below if you'd like to follow me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.